Take you back to April Commonwealth Games on the Gold Coast team event. What was those moments like for you? Um, the team was incredible. It was so cool to have three of their uh, teammates to to compete alongside, um, and I actually felt way more pressure. I mean, uh, Dan uh, Flora's husband gave us a bit of a pep talk the night before, and um, <laughs> it was intense. I was like, "Oh my gosh, the pressure's on me," because <laughs> I had to go first. Um, but it was it was amazing. I mean, it was just to, to have Flora in the third uh, third leg, and she brought us brought us back. It was kind of incredible, and then. Um, I mean, we were we were holding our own, which is kind of crazy considering we're so small. But we managed to get fifth, which I don't think any of us were really expecting. I mean, it just kind of played out really nicely. Those moments of training with Floyd, being around Tyler, both Tylers, what did you learn from them as far as, especially Tyler Butterfield and Flora, professionals and and number one in the world is Flora Duffy. Yeah, I mean. Uh, especially Tyler because he was staying in the village you could really see kind of how they approach it and I mean they were professionals about it like you said they it was you I mean floor was there to win there was no other question about it I mean each session was like executed the way a professional would I mean I wouldn't say they were doing anything like so different than the rest of us. I mean, we were all there to, to compete and race, but it was cool to kind of see how they approached their race, and it was it was something to follow. I mean, just the lead up and the the morning of, kind of how in the zone they were was kind of in awe. I was in awe. <laughs> that reflect in your event in Mexico, just just that environment, just knowing what to expect knowing how to prepare? Yeah, I mean, if I just go back to my first World Cup in New Plymouth, um, it was a bit of a shocker, if I'm going to be honest. I mean, I was out of the water last, which, I mean, I'm, I'm not a, I wouldn't say I'm the best swimmer, but I would definitely not say I was the worst. Um, and uh, just from the racing in the Commonwealth, I knew how different I had to approach the start. And then that translated in the Commonwealth and also in Hotelco and I was ninth out the water so um, yeah I think it's all been a learning curve and each race I'm still learning more and more and it, like every race is different so um, yeah it was it was good to see it translate over. What's the confidence level like in yourself now? It's good I mean you can't ever really be overconfident because it's not like it's a track race or a swim race where you it's basically your training. I mean, in triathlon, your training is definitely translated over, but the the race can be so situational. Um, one small little thing can change. I mean, there's so many things that can go wrong in a race or go right. Um, so, I mean, I'm doing everything I can to prepare, but uh, each race is different, so you just have to be prepared for that on the day. If selected to go to Colombia for the CAC Games, what what will be your ambition for that? What what will you be, because it's it's against people in your region. So what are you yeah. going to accomplish there? Um, I mean, it's actually interesting. I'm going to Brazil this weekend to race, and I will be racing against most of those if I go to uh, Colombia. It's similar region because right where I'm going is the Pan American Championships. So there'll be everyone who I will be racing against, and in Mexico a. a vast majority of the field was from the Americas region so it, it'll be good to to race in Brazil and see where I end up and then um, make a judgment call on kind of where I'll be at, at CAC but yeah. Now growing up when did you really decide craft loan was going to be your sport? Um, I think just the opportunities that I've been given um, I mean with the Youth Olympics that was crazy and then um, it was kind of a turning point when I went to university and um, I changed coaches to um, Ian O'Brien, um, part of Origin Performance, and he's based out of Colorado as well. So um, when I got, yeah, all of these opportunities that like allowed me to be the best that I can be and to help me along the way, I think that's kind of, it helps. Like I always had a dream of becoming a triathlete. 
but it's never just possible. I, you need all of the resources and the help that you can get. And I've just been fortunate enough from Bermuda and from all of my peers and family to help me along the way. Yeah. Are you surprised? Were you surprised by your performance in Mexico? Um, I wouldn't say surprised. I mean, I was swimming really well at uh, Colorado. I was swimming with a master's group. And um, I mean, it was cool coming out the water and being like, oh my gosh, like I'm like right in the mix of it. Um, Do you stop yeah. for a minute and think about that? Or you just, you just keep going? No, I was just like, keep going, keep going. <laughs> um, and then it wasn't the ideal race because we all came together on the bike. So it was like 30 of us, um, which that's never ideal when I know that running, I'd rather have a bit of a leeway. Mm. Um, but I mean, I still ran a low 19, which isn't close to a PB, well, not, it's not far from a PB, but it's definitely not a personal best. Um, but it was still a pretty good time considering the conditions. And I, I just, whenever I talk to my coach, it's each little chip away at a time, each race. Um, I'm only 20 and considering where I came from my run, it's, it's still, yeah. yeah. Now, a process. <laughs> what is the temperature supposed to be like in Brazil this weekend? It's not actually too bad. I mean, we're in Brasilia, so it's um, central. I mean, it said it's supposed to be like 70s and not that humid. So I would say pretty perfect racing conditions because like in Mexico, oh my gosh, it was like 30 degrees outside and then the water was also 30. It was like the water was a bath. Um, <laughs> And the run, it was just impossible to cool yourself down enough. And I mean, you kind of have to acclimatize to that. And being in uh, Colorado was dry compared to the humidity, humidity in Mexico. But I think I handled the conditions well enough. Okay. So. All right. Well, good luck. We'll be in touch with you this weekend. Thank you. And hopefully see you in Colombia. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs>